Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I've got a really special video for you guys. Through that door there is our brand new BMW Fnatic Esports training facility. Today we're going to have a look through and see all the features in this facility. To help me do that, I brought along our team director, Mr. La Formula himself, Javi. Hey. Hey. How's Super it nice to be here. First off, just a, a couple of questions. How do we get to this space? Like, how do we move here? What happened with our old offices? In Fnatic, we are always trying to level up uh, everything that is surrounding our players. As a part of that, we felt like the facility was one of these big projects that we could do around them. So we spoke with BMW and after obviously looking so many facilities in other parts of Berlin, but we felt this one was like, had the sizes that we needed and, and also the flexibility in the space that we wanted in order to like, design our spaces. How much work did it take and how many people were working on this project? And how are you involved personally in this? Well, like a project like this, and you will see when we get into it, it's, it's a really big project. So a lot of people were involved from designers, architects, everyone from different departments. And also like getting a lot of the impression from our HQ to keep the same identity of facility. But especially uh, from our side, it was more from a high performance aspect to make sure that our players had everything they needed in order to secure that level up that we were talking about and that we can have a facility that uh, fits our needs for the future. Well, I'm really excited to show you guys inside the new facility. We're just giving you the first exclusive look with still a little bit more to be built and to be finished off and polished off. But yeah, let's go and take a look, no? Yeah, sure. Let's After go. you. No, please. <laughs> After you. <laughs> so here we are in the entrance. Yeah, uh, here I wanted to show you this area. Here you are welcomed by our manager, Chris. Hey, Chris. He's the hey, Chris. first point of contact to our players. So when they are coming into the for a new day, if they have any need, he is the first point of contact for them. Here we have our locker room. It's still not 100% finished, but this is where the players, after saying hi to our manager, they can come in here, they can leave their belongings here, and also they can like change their clothes and put like some practice clothes in. So kind of like a traditional sports locker room. Yeah, basically what we were trying to do is mimic the experience uh, with the traditional sports. So uh, players just take like practice clothing in, and that way uh, they change the mood and it's like a, mo a more professional approach to practice and that, is, that was the intention with this. Really cool idea. Yeah. Let's move on to the next room. Sure. Now we are here in our gaming room, which is not the main gaming room, we'll see that one later, but this is our second gaming room. Obviously this facility was not only created for LEC team, uh, we wanted to create this as a performance facility where we could hold more teams. We had an opportunity here to have the Fnatic TQ team boot camping with the main team, so it's an opportunity for them to come here and have like a really good setup. So this can be seen more as a, a boot camp room, if you will, yeah. for visiting teams, for visiting Fnatic teams, and I guess here will be five uh, PC gaming setups for whoever wants to come here and train and over here will be a coaches um, area with a big screen. Yeah, that's it. Like the idea is we will have all these like very well set up uh, with uh, our PCs and our fanatic gear and all this and then uh, the screen is so they can easily turn around and do reviews of their practice the screens or whatever. So here we've got our kitchen. Uh, obviously it's not ready yet, but it's gonna be fully equipped and decked out with high sense appliances. So thank you to them for providing all of that. You can come through, Hilly. Good morning, by the way. Hey, Hilly. <laughs> yeah, so this is where all our meals are gonna be prepared and nutrition is a really important part of performance, right? Yeah, well, as I was saying, when we were thinking on how to level up this space was about making it very oriented to performance and of course nutrition and having the right energy for our practice was a big part of it. So we wanted to have like a fully equipped kitchen where we could have even a chef or something that can come and do that part for our place. Great. You really thought of everything, haven't you? Did I? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. So where are we now, Javi? This is the main hall, I guess. Like the first part of this hall, uh, we have the dining area. This is obviously 
very connected with the kitchen, so our players can just get their food there and they have like a really good space where they can share together, like a moment, like to... They keep talking about the game, but we try also to bring all the topics into the table and yeah, it's a really nice space to share, not only between the players, but with all the other staff from the, from the company and from the office. Yeah, it's a really like a really nice big hallway. The Fnatic painted on the wall there, and uh, our past trophies for inspiration, something to reach out towards. All right, let's move into the uh, to the office space now. Sure. All right, so who's working here? So basically, this area is like our co-working area, and it's where everyone more connected to the company side or business side of or content side of the company they are working here. So everything that it's not that performance oriented and it's more operational, it's in here. Uh, you can see our uh, people coordinator or operations coordinator, uh, Timo. Hey Timo. And yeah, it's still a work in progress too and we will have it like way more clean and, and way more... Um... Are you calling my desk messy? Actually, your desk is <laughs> the cleanest it has ever been, so <laughs> probably for this video, but yeah, like it will eventually be even better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Welcome to our meeting and conference room. Here is where the magic happens, where the big meetings happen, where we decide to do our roster reveal with you dressed as a ship. Oh, that was your idea. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, uh, this is our uh, going to be our conference room. This is not the table we're going to use. This is our old dining table. I guess we can take some board meetings between you and me here to decide the fate of uh, Fnatic League of Legends. Yeah, uh, jokes aside, we came from the co-working area and that is more of a, as we were seeing, like an open space to be more individually working. And this is more to meet together, see how we push things forward and it's like, I would call it like more the strategic uh, room to make sure that we are taking the next steps forward. All right, are you ready to have fun though? This was a bit too serious for me. Yeah, let's go to the most fun parts of the, of the office. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see here, this is more like the leisure area where people can disconnect a bit from the PC, from playing League of Legends to do a bit of a sport or like just have fun playing together. Obviously, Pete has less fun because he doesn't win a single point, but that's part of the thing. Anything to say? Let's play. Oh, shit. As you can see. So, where are we now, Javi? So, as another part uh, of the laser area that we were mentioning, we, we have here like a bit of a sitting uh, area with uh, good sofas and we will have here like a huge wall with a really big screen and this will be the place where we will watch our official games and just enjoy watching some League of Legends. Yeah, I'll bring the popcorn. All right, now if you guys follow me in this area, We've got a couple more big screens from Hisense, uh, a few more couches, a few seats over there. Again, this is just another relaxing leisure area. But here we're going to put some PlayStations, Xboxes, another PC maybe, who knows. So the guys can just take their minds off work, play games with each other, maybe some VR and um, yeah, just uh, another play area that um, they can relax with. And now we are moving to your favorite area. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. The content room? No, the gym. Oh, yeah, my favorite area. Welcome to our not yet finished gym, but this will be a big part. People have seen already in our content, we are very focused on doing some activations and things related to performance that are out of the game and that prepare our mind and our bodies for competition. So this is going to be a really important area. We will have some more equipment here, but it's already a very functional area. Even if it's not finished, it's something that we were already using last year. I mean, this is definitely the room where I spend the most time. Just, you know, like, you know, 
busting my, busting my ass. Oh. But that's two kilos, bit. What? All right, here we are. We just appeared, as if by magic, into my actual favorite area of the facility, the content room. Uh, this will be a studio space where we can film all of our content. As you can see here, Fnatic Teachers Noob is being filmed. This is, again, like some of the other rooms, not finished yet. We're gonna be building a lot more rails and backdrop systems and you name it. It's gonna be a state-of-the-art content space, so we're also gonna be living up our content. Not only to perform and have all the areas like our entity to perform, but also to be able to show what we are doing and from a performance standpoint, from an entertainment standpoint. You will not get out of gold ever, but it's fine. <laughs> My job is not to get out of gold. My job is actually to stay in gold for the content, you know what I mean? Um, even in silver, maybe. <laughs> in silver, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to the most important part of yeah. the facility now. Yeah. Lead the way. So guys, we've landed finally into the main training room in the BMW Fnatic Esports training facility. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Basically, this room will change a lot. I think if any room is not yet finished, I think this will be the one of them that will change the most. But for us, it was really important that we could have it ready like as soon as possible because it was going to like level up our performance immediately, like really stable ping, really low ping, like really good setup for our players. And yeah, like uh, we saw before, like the other gaming room, but this is going to be the main one. We will have like a really good design here. Unfortunately for a few years now, we have had to play like our splits from here. So from our office. So this was a really big step forward in order to have our players at the best potential like setup. Yeah, and I've heard from every single player how big of an upgrade this space is to our old office space where we had big issues with uh, like the temperature, heating, the internet, the squeaky floorboards, which from a content perspective was terrible. Now we've got floors that don't squeak. And uh, are, you, are you happy, humanoid? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, all the players are, are happy here, but uh, now we're gonna be moving into the final destination of the tour, Javi. Yeah, it's very connected to this one, and it's obviously like the progression from we practice, then we group together and discuss about what we just did, and, and that is obviously our coaches room and review area. And yeah, as, as I said, it was designed to be very connected, so let's go and, and see it. Yeah, let's go and know your motto. So here we are in the final stop of our tour. This is the coach's room. Can you explain a little bit how this room works, Javi? Yeah, so as we were saying, this is super connected to our practice room. So everything that is connected to performance happens here. This is where our players after practice, they come and speak about the screams. This is where our coaches are working. They have their setups here. Also now that we have not been competing in the studio and we have had to compete from the office, it's where we, for example, do our debrief after the games to take everything out, our feelings, how we are moving into the next games. And yeah, this is basically where everything, every conversation and the group sits together here as equals and they share like uh, all the information that has to do with performance. That was a quick little tour of our brand new BMW Fnatic Esports training facility here in Berlin. We were very excited to show you guys around and even more excited to show you once this place is complete, Javi. Yeah, as we have seen, there is a huge potential here. Still not 100% done, but most of the things are going to experience like a big change and we will have like a big wow effect for our next video. One thing that will not change though is your level of ping pong, I think. Even if you stop doing content and focus the next month uh, in playing ping pong, I think you will not be able to beat me. So we're going to do a fanatic teaches noob at ping pong. Uh, <laughs> so you can go out of Iron 4 and go to Iron 1 in ping pong. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so make sure you guys subscribe to not miss that video in a couple of months' time when this place is complete and we're going to show you the full, fully-fledged BMW Fnatic eSports training facility. And uh, yeah, don't miss it. Thank you, Javi, for joining me today. Thank you very much for inviting me. No problem. See you guys later. See you guys. Let's go. play.